they're three three lads I I know well and three very uh, suitable candidates and um, great candidates to even uh, be mentioned with the job. So yeah, um, whoever gets it, or uh, I'm sure they'll do a great job. When you first heard Chris of the news that Pat Gilroy stepped away due to work commitments, what did you think when you when you heard? Um, I suppose I, I was shocked. Um, when I when I heard the news, and disappointed because um, I suppose we, we 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 hold Pat in such high regard as a manager, um, and he did such great work work with us for a year. But um, obviously, from from speaking to him, you completely understand um, his situation. Pat, I suppose Pat's probably as disappointed as, as as the players not to be involved in 2019. But at the end of the day, um, managers uh, only it's only a hobby to hobby team the same way it is for players. And um, I know how high. Um, how how he values his work and his and his career, which is a very very important part of his life. Um, so I suppose we wish him well in, in his in his career. Um, in the first 2019. I'm sure you know he had a plan of two year, three year, four year to try and make things better each year because you know results were not going to come immediately given the fact that he he had a big job to do. So I'm sure as you guys as players, are you guys disappointed that he couldn't continue to work that he had started? Absolutely, we're disappointed he can't continue, but we totally understand um, that he did absolutely everything he could to to try and stay in 2019. But um, past that person, where if you can't give 100% um, to the to the to the job, he's, there's probably uh, it wouldn't be fair in the players and wouldn't be fair in himself um, to do that. Um, so uh, absolutely, yeah. Have you spoken to Pat since he left, and did you have a chance to speak to the players as, as a group, or how did that work? Um, yeah, I've spoken to Pat, and I've spoken to a lot of the players. And um, Pat, as I said, Pat is disappointed as as, as the players not to be involved. Um, he um, obviously with his with his career and 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 his work commitments, it just wouldn't be able to to balance the boat. And I suppose the play, um, from chatting to the players, like um, they held him such high regard and had such respect for Pat, and, th- and that's probably why they um, they're so disappointed. But they completely understand. Uh, where Pat's coming from, and I, we know that under, and understand he did everything in his power to, uh, to try and stay on. Yeah, of course, he's side of work commitments for the reason, and you guys as players, you know, have to, you know, give a huge amount of time to being uh, a hurler, having a real life, you know, and, and all sorts of the above. How do you handle the commitments that he's obviously been unable to handle as the manager? Uh, I suppose it's all about balance, really, and um, I, I'm lucky in, in, in my situation being a, a primary school teacher um, that, I'm a, that I'm able to b- balance. But you can see from other lads who um, who have jobs, maybe who are working later, nine to nine till seven or whatever. Um, it it is difficult, and um, I suppose um, the, the high demands that are on intercounty players at the, at this period of time. Um, it's difficult to to, to balance both. Um, but I suppose at the end of the day, it, it's a hobby and. Um, players play for the for the enjoyment and for the love of the game, and um, it's it's something players just have to try and manage and juggle as best they can. Yeah, Anthony Cunningham has been mentioned as a possible successor. Uh, he's been clearly involved on the coaching staff for the last year. What type of role has he had, and you know what type of coach is he, and has he been for you guys? Uh, Anthony did a great job last year as coach and uh, really um, added added great added greatly to the setup.